Wizzy Wizzy Wizards and welcome back to Pursuit of Happiness with me, Pigtail Girl, your friend and fellow traveller. I'm having a bit of a busy day today, I'm in the middle of homeschooling. Sorry if there's a bit of background noise because I'm filming near the window, you might hear some seagulls. <laughs> and I am going to rush off and go out later and have many things to do. But today and yesterday has been quite an important day in the timeline, so I thought I needed to just come online and explain to you a little bit about the Schumann's resonance charts that we've been seeing. I'm gonna pull it up here. And now I'm just going to show you the image that Starfire Tour, my partner on the Time Chronicles provided us with to explain the meaning of this strange phenomena. Feel free to pause the video and read through it uh, in your own time. So what we're seeing here um, is in the background, something we don't usually see, which is this sort of programming that the core matrix is using to um, edit our reality, the loom of destiny, as Starfire Tour calls it. We're getting a glimpse behind the veil of what this program actually looks like. You know, it's like when you see through the matrix and. You can see the programming that's going on creating everything. Well, it's like um, I've had a personal experience of this when the veils be lifted and I've seen the energetics behind reality. Myself, I've seen these golden spirals moving through like the room I was in and I started to see auras and energy fields and it would come and go just after my spiritual awakening, actually. Um, I would see them like a spiral and they would fit all together like we call them swiss rolls in england there's these cakes that's like a spiral and it's like a swiss roll is the best way i could describe it moving through reality now what this schumann's resonant chart is showing as starfire tour has taught us in the telegram groups and on facebook and as much as she can through the time chronicles and really this information is unique to her. You can't really find this anywhere else. Most people who are providing you with Schumann resonant charts reading don't really know what they're talking about. They might be well-intentioned, but um, over the years I have, I have seen time and time again, Starfire Tour is the person where, who I go to when I wanna understand um, what the Schumann's resonant chart is really doing. And she's gone into great depth teaching people like you how to read it for yourself. You know, she's not someone just to give you info. She likes to put it in your hands, how you yourself can read the charts so you know what's going on in the timeline too. And so we can see in a Schumer resonance chart, as an example, when it goes black, that's a timeline reboot. That means that the core matrix is taking us offline and is no longer streaming our reality as it reconstitutes us um, and then puts us back together. And We don't usually see what's going on there and then bringing everything back online. So it can stream the timelines because, you know, it streams multiple. Uh, we live in a multiverse, uh, in a multiple timeline, a coexisting timeline scenario where there's many different versions of us streaming all of the time as the core matrix is always searching for trying to get us back into the uh, Edenic, the perfect, you know, the divine uh, timeline. You know, we have all these like the sliding doors, different versions of the timeline. And it's always trying to keep each timeline going in the right direction, which is pro-life, to sustain life, basically. And so the Schumann's resonance chart is showing us not just uh, Earth energies to do with uh, electricity um, and uh, storms and, and this kind of stuff. It's showing us what's going on with the core matrix, not just the sun, even the core matrix, which is also known as the Akasha. It's the, the software if you would, the divine software or hardware even that runs all of time, that creates all of those time shifts, time loops, um, timeline edits, anything related to what some people call the Mandela effect. We call it the time shift effect coined by Starfire Tour, the discoverer of that information. Let's not forget that. She is the person that brought all this information forth. Then other people just piggybacked on her original data. Um, you know, we're seeing that in the Schumann's resonance charts, so everything to do with timeline edits and weirdity throughout the timeline is because of the core matrix. It's like the brain, the same way we have our brain that interacts direct with, directly with the core matrix. We're always connecting to the core matrix through our brain. That's our connection point. It is like the brain 
that's the library and the control of all the streaming timelines. It has the past, present and future all within it. So when we go through a catastrophic event that's nearly going to annihilate our planet, for, for so many times it can reconstitute and reboot us. And we've just gone through seven of those in a row. We've been rebooted in the last, what, week or two? About seven times in a row. So many people have been feeling a bit disorientated. You might be seeing an increase in your deja vus. Um, but what it's led to is this interesting phenomena that's never been seen before that we saw in that chart of that woven fabric image being shown to us by the divine through the core matrix. It's like we've been shown a glimpse behind the veil of what the core matrix is doing via the Schumann's resonance chart and actually showing us that the Schumann's resonance chart really has little to do with the solar energies or geomagnetic energies going on on the planet, but has everything to do with the core matrix enacting timeline reboots and editing our timeline. And that's just a, sh uh, a show to you of what it actually looks like on a coding level. It's like, you know, like you, you use uh, something like Photoshop and then there's the computer code behind it that runs all the systems. It's like we've been shown a glimpse of that from our reality. The Loom of Destiny, as Sapphire's uh, calling it, also known as Bryn Morgan on Facebook, because she has to go a little bit incognito, because her information gets blocked over and over again. Often she's not even saying anything. All she does is post the Schumann Resonance info, and she gets cancelled from social media, blocked and warned. So... <laughs> There's uh, definitely some forces that don't like her info getting out there. Um, but I wanted to just touch base with you guys and provide a link to the Facebook info. And uh, if you haven't seen it, also in the Telegram groups that I run sharing with Starfire's info, you can get the info on this phenomena in there. And I hope I've covered it a little bit for you in this video. And please share this video far and wide because lots of people want to know what's happening, but they don't have the, the real info. You know, they're going to be told it's the Galactic Federation, it's the fifth dimension, it's you ascending, yada, yada, yada. And that's all nonsense. It's showing you what a timeline edit, timeline reboot looks like by the core matrix. And it's just giving confirmation to those who have been following how to read the Schumann Resonance chart, what's going on. So if you really want the lowdown, please do follow us on Facebook, the Time Chronicles or the Telegram group. And please share the truth and the real info with uh, all your friends and family. All right, my darlings. So be well, very exciting times. This is one for the ages, never been seen before. The angels are gathering as well. So they've come to see what's going on around here. And I uh, will see you on the next exciting episode of The Pursuit of Happiness, One Love.